for a teacher trying to make the transition as soon as possible, what's the best use of my time this summer? See what skills you really need to upskill in so you have kind of a, a plan. Um, and a lot of people try to do it on their own and that's fine. I have gone through some of those LinkedIn learning courses on Storyline. Um, I did a, a project management course through LinkedIn and oh my gosh, they were so boring. Oh, so find something that you're going to be actually interested in, something that's going to keep your attention. But I always say have a plan. And if you can find a program, like I, 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 I'm I, pitching the accelerator program because it is really what helped me make my transition because there was a roadmap. I didn't have to second guess if this is really what I needed to do. I built my portfolio. I have the assets to go in a portfolio that actual um, people are looking for. Like most of you, I joined instructional design Facebook groups, and there's a very there's a whole list of them. Um, I'm not going to list them all out, but you know you're part of the hangout, so you know that there's a lot out there, and you're part of this one. And so you're going to see that there's a lot of cool things that we're posting, little um, tips and tricks, and you can ask a question and you get all these different responses. So you're constantly learning from others in the same industry or people that are aspiring to be an instructional designer can ask a question maybe you hadn't thought of. And then a lot of them are looking for programs or certifications. And there's a ton out there. Um, I could probably list all five or six off, off one hand right now. But the one I chose was the accelerator program. What I liked about it, one, um, if you guys haven't been following Shantae, know that she used to be a teacher as well. So she knows how to scaffold the instruction. First off, you've already listened to her talk already today. She's amazing at articulating, teaching, being able to help you see the big picture with really good examples. And that's what I needed as a learner. But also, it made me feel great that, wow, a real teacher that understands how people learn is actually developed this course. It's not just somebody that decided they were a great instructional designer and wanted to make a little bit of extra money on the side. So that was why I bought into it. So, um, you know, one of the first things you do in this roadmap that she put together for us is you have to analyze your learners. So you do a learner persona. You do that analysis first. And then you, you know, you put together what we call a shitty first draft. Let's pick a topic and kind of outline, just like you were doing a lesson plan. You outline it first before you start going in and adding in a bunch of scripting or adding in a bunch of activities. You want to make sure you're, you're covering all the learning objectives first and before you start putting everything else in. So that, she takes you from the beginning to the end. Now, what I do with that is, especially when I got to the part where I started applying those skills to authoring tools, um, I decided at the same time that there was this, like, it's it's like a certification course, but it's it's a certificate, but it's like a MicroMasters. And my husband was doing this through edX. And you could, you could um, either audit the class for free, or you could pay a little bit of a fee and get feedback and stuff. Well, I was learning all these skills in the accelerator program, and then... I wasn't learning that. I decided to sign up for that certificate just to kind of see. Remember, I'm still getting my toes wet at this time. I wasn't sure if this is really what I wanted. So I started taking these other courses and I realized they weren't teaching me. They were teaching me theory. Um, oh, let's learn about Piaget again. Or <laughs> And of course, we went over Blooms again and stuff like that. But it wasn't teaching me how to do the actual job as an instructional designer. So when they did give us tasks, even putting together a, um, they called it our comprehensive assignment. And we, we built like a, a small mini course in a LMS, all of the learning videos that I put in there, I learned how to do with the, within the accelerator program, the, um, interactive resources I did or learning activities were done through rise, which I learned in the accelerator program. I didn't learn them in the, the MicroMeisters that I went and did. So, then when I finished the both programs, I was able to get a job pretty much right away.